How's it going? Yeah, it's uh, been a couple weeks. Uh, like I mentioned in the last episode, I've been wandering around in the mountains, and I've missed out on a lot of what's going on here. But uh, as you can kind of see here, got a little bit of a uh, starter base put together. We got just a little melon farm over here. We got a little cookie farm over here. So we can chow down on some of our favorite vegetables, melons and cookies. I also kind of spruced up the spawn area of our island here just a little bit. So every time we die and respawn, this is kind of where we end up. But yeah, so our starter base is right here at the spawn area. And whoops, I meant to do that. As I am sure you saw just a little bit of in our uh, opening, uh, sequence. We've got a bit of a, uh, I guess you could call it a mine going on down here. Uh, I've been scraping the top of this, uh, very deep cavern here. And I cannot see the bottom of this cave. Uh, so I'm just sticking to the top here. And I haven't found any precious resources yet. Any diamonds or anything. All we've get, all we seem to have in here is iron and copper, which is actually a new metal in this update. I'm mostly trying to get some iron at the moment so that I can get some stuff going, uh, because, you know, I love myself some hoppers and, you know, that kind of thing, some iron stuff. But I think this mine would be a lot more effective if instead of using dirt uh, for everything, I actually used scaffolding to pillar up to the areas where the ores are. Uh, and that's going to be very doable since we are in a massive floating jungle. So we're going to be able to get some bamboo here. And I still don't have a bed. It would be really nice to have a bed. But we do now finally have a, a somewhat lackluster food source. But, I mean, at least it's something. Oof. Ah, you blew up my bridge. That's no good. That's not what you want. All right, let's go on the hunt for some bamboo. I'd like to get some scaffolding going. What is this strange structure here? Hang on. There's a button. Should I press it? I'm really scared to do this. I have no idea what's gonna happen if I press this. This looks like some kind of computer. Should I, should I do it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what'll happen. <laughs> I don't, I've never, I haven't, last time I was this unsure of myself was when I was at the cube laboratories. I have no idea what this is going to do to us. I'm actually really scared to press this button. Um, but it's here. It's a button. There's a button. I'm going to press it. Where, what, what is this? We're in a hole. Weird. There's a chicken. Nope. Oh. Did it just teleport us down? What is that doing there? Why is that there? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who put that there? Oh, that's what that pillar is there for. Somebody, somebody pressed the button. So I actually have a homework assignment for you today. And it actually comes with a little bit of a tangible reward. Anybody who does this homework assignment will get their very own username on a sign in my base in Elsewhere Season 2. So, the assignment is to go back through my old videos. So, you know, pick a video. Ooh, sheep! Sheep! Pick out your favorite one and leave a comment on it and say why it is your favorite one. You know, what parts of it you liked, what parts of it you didn't like. And then I would also like you to go back through and find your, your least favorite video of mine. Uh, preferably keep it to the Elsewhere videos because... I'm looking to try and figure out what I can do better in this series specifically. Hey, Bamboo. Oh, I fell. But yeah, so I would like you to find your favorite video of mine and your least favorite video of mine and write a little review and tell me why you did or didn't like each video and what I can learn from those videos. And oh God, it's turning to night. I have to, I should absolutely run because I am not well equipped to face the challenges of nighttime. I should start lighting stuff up. 
that's something I always forget to do in this game, but it's very helpful. See, jungles are already not the easiest terrain to navigate. Uh, and if you put one in the sky, it, it doesn't make it a whole lot easier. Oh, something blew up. Ah. Ooh, zombie villager. Ooh, okay. I am going to save this guy. Oh, okay. Come in here. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I want you to come and stay. No! I don't want you to hurt me either. I want you to come and stay a while. To come and stay a while. And a bit. Oh. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button and I ended up in the wrong world. Uh, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna kill myself here in just a second. But, uh, make sure you go check out Draco Man. He's got some pretty neat stuff going on over here, if I do say so myself. Check out that village. Look at these bridges. Look at what this guy's up to. It's very cool. All right, time to die. I gotta press the jungle one. There we go, okay. Now this guy, can I give him some pants? Take pants. Oh no, can you pick up items? Okay, screw this. Ah! Of course that guy can pick up my armor. <laughs> he hit me with the book. <laughs> Okay, I didn't say we were doing well. We have died 20... 23 times? Yeah, we're not doing great. Uh, season 1. Builds perimeter in episode 1. Season 2. Dies 23 times in episode 1. Oh, maybe we can get ourselves some redemption by building a mob farm or something. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build a mob farm. Potato! Potato, 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 potato. There is now a potato in the cookie farm, so we can make potato cookies. Guys, I think I've discovered a great technique for digging down. You just gotta place water below you, and then as you go, you pick it up, and then if you end up on top of a giant, you know, chasm or void or on top of lava or whatever, it's not a big deal because you can just swim up. If you put the bucket in your off end... Oh! Okay, well, technique didn't work as well as I had hoped, so I rage quit. That's fine. Time to go get some iron. We're just gonna pretend like none of that actually happened. Hey, there's a cave over there I could actually explore. I wonder if there's any iron in there. It looks a little dangerous though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna go horribly wrong. I should put on those projectile protection pants that I have. Why have I not been wearing those? Projectile protection, leather cap, stunning. Now I got some tiny bit of protection. Blowing stuff up as we do. Hey, fight each other. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got a bow. Hang on, we can regroup now. Oh! Why there's so many dudes? That ended badly. So as you can see behind me there, I've made a little bit of progress on the mob farm. Uh, it is actually almost complete. However, as I was working on it, a voice called out to me through the multiverse. A voice I hadn't heard in quite some time. Our old friend, Cube CEO, Legend Light. Hello. Hello. Man, how's your vacation been? It's been a while, I haven't seen you. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's been a very great time here um, uh, in the Cube vacation dimension. The cube uh, vacation <laughs> dimension? Yeah, 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 purgatory. Have you heard of it? I, I mean, I've, I've heard of purgatory, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was just a chill location for uh, executives to kind of hang out. And recently we've had some visitors, uh, but huh. I'm not too worried about it. Interesting. That's, uh, that's, I, I might have to come check that out. 
I I actually just got trapped in this like sort of uh, sky jungle. I'm not sure if you're aware. Um, there's like a, I mean it's like basically right above the rest of the world. It's just upside down. But I can't figure out how to get back down. So I've just kind of been setting up a little starter base here. Uh, that sounds like a problem that I don't have to deal with while I'm on vacation. Oh, so. yeah, no, no, I'm not saying you need to... I'm doing fine, honestly. This place is missing a few key resources, like uh, redstone and diamonds and... <laughs> I've got everything I need. I got a beach, I got the ocean, and I got sun. And I got a limited... Uh, what is the... Mai Tais. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm just trying to build a mob farm right now, actually. I'm just uh, waiting for more of my resort to be built. So, so wait, who, who's, is it like contractors that are building it for you? Yeah, every, every once in a while a contractor will just pop in and uh, build a new building for me in my resort. But so far all we have is the Tiki Lounge and my own uh, little grotto. But other than that, uh, there's not much to this resort. Uh, and that's the way I like it. It's a simple life away from company business. How oh, was it? Was it? Uh, I, I assume Ooh! it wasn't as bad as the no! first time. No! What's this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Rest in peace. Oh no. I keep losing all of my iron. Well, that was a slightly unfortunate turn of events there. However, uh, there's one more thing that uh, our old our old pal Legend Light mentioned to us. Which was about the mysterious computer we found up on the surface. So what Legend Light mentioned is that I should try and build some kind of a shrine around the block. Around the computer. And he didn't really specify necessarily what it had to look like. He just said use lots of stairs. So I, try <laughs> I tried to use as many stairs as I possibly could. But I assume if we just power this... Whoa, this looks different. This isn't what this looked like before. Um, okay, I assume that I'm supposed to walk through here, but this is another one of those situations where I'm kind of scared. I have, I, I, might, I might mention, I've died a few more times since the last time I uh, pointed it out. So this could end very badly. This is this is really interesting. I, I guess there's some kind of mystical properties to just stairs. Uh, well, I guess let's step on through and see what's on the other side. This is slightly frightening. Oh man, somebody's been here. And look at that, that is gold. I haven't seen any gold yet. Oh man. This is gonna be interesting. 